Welcome once again to Co Startup on TV Africa Network. We are with uh, Mr. Rajesh and Ms. R. Peter here uh, discussing some really important stuff that will be beneficial to your business. Um, Mr. Rajesh, we'll delve right back into, into our, our subject here. We kind of looked at, uh, at a, a, the bird's eye view of what the company does. Mm -hmm. uh, can you be more specific? Yeah, so we provide uh, website development, design and development, and we provide mobile application development. And it's not just website, we can develop an application. So if you have an idea, we can bring it to life using IT. If you have an idea in IT, that's what we can do, uh, bring, bring it to life. So we work with a lot of startup companies who have a startup idea. Okay. And we, br uh, we help them realize their dreams. Okay, so, so take me through. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a guy who woke up in the morning with a bright idea of, of starting a company or right. building a, a website or, or do, e, for e-commerce. Ms. Arpita, can you take me through the process um, from, from when I have that idea, mm -hmm. I pick up a phone and give you a call mm -hmm. to where I actually have a fully functional website? So um, at Genius, we not only just build your website, we will help you market your business, we will help you create a brand for your business. So when you get up in the morning and have that right idea, you come to us and we will do everything else for you, except for run your business. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we do, uh, you know, our, our, our starting point is ideation process, okay. where we sit with you, we understand your industry, we understand what the competitors in the industry are doing. We do our research and we come up with an idea uh, for uh, marketing your company. So marketing includes everything from building a website, building your logo, building your uh, brand presence, um, building your social media, doing SEO for it, as well as building any kind of IT infrastructure that is required for your website. By that I mean, if it's an e-commerce website, you need a whole, uh, you know, infrastructure in the back end to update inventories, to ship, you know, people can pay online. So that is your infrastructure that you need for an e-commerce website. Okay. So all that we take care of. And, and by SEO, what do you mean by SEO? Uh, search engine optimization. Okay. So once you have built your website, uh, how will people search for your website? How will people know that website ex your website exists? How will Google know your website exists? Is through search engine optimization, where we develop the content, we develop we develop keyword rich content on for your website, where if somebody is searching for your website on Google, your website should rank first. You know, first at least in the first ten of uh, Google ranking, okay. that's done using uh, social uh, search engine optimization. Okay. So if I can, mm -hmm. there are like six fifty million people on the internet, right? And they're all using the internet. And for a typical business, they have their immediate vicinity and immediate customers. And the the question is always, how can I use my marketing dollars? So the best way to market is to use the website to market, as she said, and that way you're reaching out to a bigger demographic right. who are using the internet. And now that's where Google comes in, where people are now searching for whatever services they want, they're searching on the internet. And then it shows a list of all the businesses. And so the goal of the internet marketing that she's talking about is to make your website show up when they search for certain keywords. Right. So like for a doctor's office, is if they're an uh, allergy doctor, and I'm searching for allergy in uh, Columbus, mm -hmm. that website should show up first. Mm -hmm. And so what we do with the website and what content we write on the website, mm -hmm. how we position it and how we use the mm -hmm. SEO channels, uh, as we call it, SEO channels, meaning mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, how do these help to increase the profile and ranking in the eyes of Google? is that's the whole business solution that we can bring to the table absolutely and and i think you you, you were miss r peter you were on track to explaining or uh taking us through that whole process of, of Sorry, yeah. you know and that's okay <laughs> uh, i have to i have to uh delve into seo for a moment yeah. just so my my audience uh my viewers can understand what right. it means because right. it's a it's a, a term that gets thrown around pretty easily mm -hmm. uh, seo search engine optimization mm -hmm. so i appreciate the explanation you gave uh, and and so from that standpoint, from that point onwards, 
where do we go next to where I have a fully functional website? So uh, that's the ideation. So once the idea is there, once we have a structure ready, then we uh, go into designing that idea. We go into uh, prototyping that idea. Uh, prototyping is basically developing mock-up screens or uh, uh, you know a prototype of your website of how it's going to look and feel like. Okay. You, you know we that's what we provide to our clients. So this is we're still far away from developing the website. So here we see what the look and feel of the website is going to be, what the color scheme of the website is going to be, what elements are we going to place in the website, what the uh, menu structure of the website is going to be. And uh, all of that requirements gathering takes place, you know, and with that, we go back and forth with our clients, we understand the industry, um, and we come up with that structure. Now, once that is done, once designing is done, once all of that is approved, then it goes to the development stage where the, the actual core of the website is built. Okay. The actual coding is done, you know, that, that, that's the whole development stage. And once that is ready, we uh, put it put it online. We use all these SEO, social media marketing to actually, uh, you know, help your website grow, to help your website rank higher on Google. And we also provide training to our clients how they can go and edit their own website. Okay. The kind of platform that we build is is very simple. So if you can edit a Word document, you can actually go and edit your own website. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So that's the kind of platform that we provide to our clients. So giving them training, teaching them, you know, what kind of post they should put on Facebook, what kind of blog they should write. And uh, basically our job is to help client build their business. And that's what we do best. And, and I appreciate that because I think so much of what is out there is, is the cookie cutter mentality where mm -hmm. uh, some other uh, places that will simply just give you a... Uh, a standardized approach to building a website and you simply just plug in what you need but right. what you find with that is whether it's the color scheme or whatever it is it's not particularly tailored to your industry or it's not particularly tailored to your audience right. mm -hmm. uh, and so for 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 genius how do you differentiate yourself from all these other other companies out there that are essentially providing the same service that you are Sure. Uh, so, as you said, you rightly said there is one aspect of developing website where we can go to a, a standard site and they provide you a cookie cutter template and you select the template and fill up the information and you have your website. But then that might not support you in what, what your real business needs are in terms of what functionality you need. And now if you want to expand, you want to add more features to it, now you don't know what to do. Now you have to redo the whole thing. Right. Tear it down yeah. and build it back up. Right. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is where you give it to a website developer and he owns the code, he owns the website, and every time you want any changes, the developer is now uh, dependent upon the developer. And and if he goes out of town, you're dependent upon him to come back and do it, right? <laughs> so uh, where we come in is, where we provide value is, we build them a solution that is scalable and flexible and build in a platform that even if you want to expand and enhance it or you want to add more features, it's very easy to do by plugging that into the platform. So we give them a content management system. Uh, like WordPress, uh, .NET Cube, they're all content management systems. Right. So on that we build a functionality for them, and then and then we can show them how to use it. Now these are for uh, simple website, but then if there are uh, complex websites like e-commerce uh, stores or web application, or if you're in your business, uh, you uh, everything is done through paper, and you want to automate that, that you can do. Uh, bring it online for you so that it's easy for uh, consumers to use a website very easily. Wow, and and, so. and I it's absolutely interesting that you know you you not only build a website for them but give them the necessary training, the the rudimentary fundamental training they need to 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 make certain changes on their own, so that they're not mm -hmm. always having to you know call you at, at two a.m. Which I know <laughs> some business owners will. They'll call <laughs> you at two a.m. if they have your phone number right. because they need something done immediately. I think this this is absolutely fascinating. It's a lot more to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, we will take another quick break. I have bills to pay. Uh, we'll okay. take another <laughs> quick break and then uh, we'll continue once again on the subject.